What's up everybody? The weekend's almost here and we're back with another video. And we've got something new to show you. So check it out right after this. That's right, we finally purchased our Blackstone. We went camping with uh, Mark and Michelle of uh, Mark's Adventures. He had a Blackstone and he cooked us breakfast and he was able to cook a lot of things at one time on that. So we really need that because I do a lot of pre-cooking in advance. So once we have this, he'll be able to do the cooking while we're camping. Yeah, and I love cooking while we're camping on the outdoors. So what we have is the Blackstone combo which comes with the cutting board area. Got the 28 inch griddle top. Wait, I want to play like Vanna White. We have here the deep fryer that comes with it on top of the two burner stove. Cutting board area here. Inside we have the 20 pound propane tank and also area for storage. All right, so since this is brand new, as you see, the stickers are still on it. So we're gonna take the stickers off and we're gonna show you how to season your Blackstone grill. He's gonna show you how to season it. I'm taking a nap. All right, <laughs> All right folks, here we go. Alright, so the first thing we have to do is wipe the griddle top down with just some water just to get any excess residue or anything off of the griddle top. Making sure we get the corners and the sides. Now for the seasoning phase, what we'll do is we've got to turn the griddle on and leave it on high for a little while and add three tablespoons of peanut oil. We're using peanut oil because it has a very high flash point so it won't burn up on your griddle. So let's do that next. All right, so what we've done is we've turned it on. We've got the grill getting really, really hot so that we can begin our seasoning process. But one thing you have to do if it's your very first time using it, the igniter takes a AA battery. So make sure you put your battery inside so that you're able to ignite your grill. So we're gonna wait a few minutes till it gets hot and then add our oil to it. All right, now we've had the grill on high for about 15 minutes and as you see, it's starting to discolor. So what we do next is we take our oil and pour it onto the grill. You'll take a pair of metal tongs, you need metal tongs because of the heat, and some paper towels, 
and spread it evenly over your grill. A nice thin layer over the grill. You want to get your sides as well. Get inside your corners. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit more oil to get a nice uh, thin, more of a thin layer onto the grill. So with this, I'm using about three tablespoons of oil. Another layer. Again, on the side. Then you begin to see your grill start to smoke. Once that smoke burns off that oil, you can repeat this about three times to get that nice smooth layer so that nothing sticks to your Blackstone grill. So we're gonna try this procedure a couple of more times. And I'm not sure if you can see this, but you can see the smoke coming up now. Okay, it's recommended that we repeat this process at least three to five times. So, I'm gonna do it again. This will be our third time. Trying to create that non-stick surface. Okay, so Dave is finished seasoning the Blackstone, so now we're getting ready to cook some hamburgers, red meat for me, turkey burger for him, and we're all gonna, gonna also gonna do some french fries as well, which I'm excited. I love fresh cooked french fries and grease. I know I should bake them and I, I know all that, but they're better when they're deep fried. So we're gonna give you a review on how easy or hard it was to use the Blackstone. So we'll, we'll let you know, especially about the french fries. What do you think about that, Zoe? You ready for some french fries? Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> So here you have it, the finished product. We have the turkey burger here and the hamburger, America's favorite, here, and our homemade french fries that we really didn't think all the way through because the day is a windy day and we tried to deep fry the french fries so they end up cooking for like 30 minutes. What a pain in the butt, especially because the burgers were already done at half the time. Uh, so lesson learned. We actually tried to block the wind using chairs. That worked, heated up the, so it blocked the wind. So um, they look pretty good. Let's just hope they taste just as good. So we'll let you know after we're done. Hi, we got finished with lunch a few hours ago. So right now we're on our way over to Melinda and George's because they're having a Labor Day get together. So I've cooked some uh, pulled uh, barbecue chicken and uh, we're headed there next. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, so it starts at seven o'clock. We're getting ready to leave now and hope we don't get stuck in any traffic. So here we go.
<laughs> oh, wow. What's up? Yeah, we're here. Word. And we're here. Three. So that was Memorial Day weekend at the Sunset Beach KOA and we previewed and showed you our brand new Blackstone Combo Griddle. What did you think about it, Kim? Well, he has been wanting one for a while, so we finally found a deal that we couldn't pass up. It actually had the, it was a nice size one, had a fryer on it. Like I mentioned earlier in the video, we didn't think it all the way through with trying to fry the french fries in with the wind and the flames. They don't mix yep um but we really did have a good time the grill was good and then after that we went to uh melinda and george's which are our seasonal couple and they put on a labor day gathering for the whole seasonal crew and i think everybody plus some showed up yep and the that food, was one party <laughs> yeah the food was phenomenal uh as you saw in the video we played a game called washers that george put together for us we played some cornhole we had delicious food, like I said, and it turned out to be a really, really good night. Yeah, I made sure I stayed out of the way when it came to the washers because, <laughs> knowing my look, I wouldn't even try it because someone would end up at one of those hospitals because I probably would have hit them with, with one of the, the washers. <laughs> yeah. So, because, yeah, they were kind of heavy, but that looked uh, it looked like the guys were having a good time. Yeah, so, Melinda and George, thank you so much. Yep, thank you. And thank you for everybody that showed up and made it a great, great event. Yeah, the food was great. So we also want to say hello and give a shout out to some people that came to see us, some of our subscribers, particularly Kerry and Michael. And Frank and Tina. Yep, we thank you guys for coming over to see us and saying hello. We had a great time chatting with you and we wanted to say thank you guys for subscribing yes. and being such great watchers. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> thank you all so much. And if you're watching this video for the first time and you haven't subscribed, don't forget to hit that like button, give subscribe, us a give us a thumbs up. Yep. And thank you so much to those who already have subscribed. Yep. So we're going to end this video. We're going to try and come back with another one really, really soon. Uh, we're right back to work after the holidays, so things are getting really, really busy. So we will <laughs> still try to bring you as many videos as we can because we hear you guys and you enjoy it. And we want to bring you the best content that we can, right? I want to be rich. <laughs> I want Let's to be keep rich. Working. No, no. I want to be rich and I want to camp all the time. All right. Go what full time. That? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, folks, we just want to say once again, here's hoping that you have a, a wonderful, wonderful weekend. weekend. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Thanks for watching again. <laughs> <laughs>